Hey guys, I want to show you a small FDM mod I made with my printer. It is a mirror or bump 2x2x3. A few weeks ago, I got a 3D printer and I managed to print extensions for a 2x2x3, uh, except my printer broke down recently. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be uploading this video, but it's uh, probably was maybe three or four weeks ago that I printed extensions for a 2x2x3, and this is the result. So, this is a mirror 2x2x3. Um, it was basically made using extensions only, uh, 3D printed extensions on a regular 2x2x3. So, let's see. This is what it looks like, and I, I think it's pretty nice uh, to know that this is possible, you know, uh, making uh, puzzles with my FDM printer. I, um, I got one just for extension puzzles. For mechanisms, I don't really like FDM because it's not, um, you know, the quality I'm looking for. And uh, I think um, I'm going to stick to SLS for uh, puzzles with a mechanism, but for this, I think it's really nice. I also got those stickers, those um, metallic sort of... Uh, you know, shiny stickers with uh, multiple colors, uh, st basically reflecting uh, from a lever. It's uh, I think it's really nice. Uh, it's a new type of sticker that I was trying out, and uh, I really enjoy it. So let me show you. So this is uh, first turns. It's it's pretty smooth. Uh, I did the uh, lube it, uh, although it wasn't really necessary. Um, so basically, I um, I just took uh, the two by two by three in the middle and uh, and moved it around by two millimeters, four millimeters, and six millimeters in all three dimensions, so that it would do the mirror effect. And as you can see, the top and bottom are quite close yet uh, quite different. And um, so there's a little bit of a difference between heights. Uh, as for the sides, they're actually much more different. So we've got this move, this one, this one and that one. So um, let's see, let's scramble this so you guys can see. I think it's it's a very basic puzzle but it's quite fun to play with so uh, I'm, I am think, I don't know if I'm gonna make the files open source or if I'm gonna sell these uh, at some point or something. I don't know. Um, but I will let you know as soon as I know more. I know every time uh, I'm talking about selling puzzles, it's quite vague and everything, but um, it's just that I, I, I really don't know what the future holds and uh, I, I can't really tell you um, anything about this because I just don't know what to expect. Um, and I wish I did, but it doesn't only depend on me. So, so yeah, let's, let's try to solve this. So the, the top face is almost solved already. Uh, the only one that's missing is this piece. Now that's quite a nice thing. These three parts are the same height, so you directly know which QB belongs to the bottom face. So that's actually almost easier to solve than a regular 2x2x3. Uh, two by two by and that is not something I was expecting to say when I started filming this video. So, yeah, it's quite a fun fact. Alright, so I've got the bottom face solved. So, actually, no, it was the top face, so I'm going to have to reverse uh, those. Alright, it was here. So now I've got the top face to solve. There's a permutation of these two um, corners, so I'm going to use a domino algorithm. And here it is solved. Alright, so it's quite easy to solve, and it's quite a fun puzzle, and I'm glad I tried out my new FDM printer. Hopefully I'll have it fixed quite soon, probably by the time I upload this video it will already be fixed, but I don't know. So yeah, I hope you like this puzzle and uh, I'll be releasing some more mods quite soon. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I like this puzzle, I actually quite like it, even though it's pretty basic, and I hope you did too. So hopefully my 3D printer will be fixed soon so I can show you some more mods, and in the meantime, well, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.